Well, here we are at the Adult Entertainment Expo 2008 with another lovely lady, and we're here at the uh, Spearmint Rhino Ninworks SR booth. Did I butcher that up? It's Ninworks SR. Ninworks SR. And you mind introducing yourself to the people at home? I'm Janet Jordan. The very lovely Janet Jordan. And uh, they're hyping up this big film over here, the Ford. Do you have a part in this film? I do. I have a very small part. I'm the There's Oracle. There's no such thing as small role. I mean, compared to like what they've done with the video, it's pretty small. Tell us about your role in this film. Well, I'm the Oracle, so I wear like all white, <laughs> and I fuck uh, the other Oracle. It's an older Oracle. That's what I do. Is that kind of like a passing of the torch or something? You know, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's just fucking. Have you seen the film at all? Or? No, they, I don't think they're even finished. I think um, this is just like little bits and pieces that they're putting together so far. I'm not really sure if this works as like a typical film. Do you get the whole plot line of the story or are you there in wardrobe and you just fuck? How does this work in the porn film industry? They, if it's a scripted video, they'll give you the script in advance. Okay. I didn't have much of a part. I didn't say much, but I got everyone else's script so I could look through and read and see what's going on. But usually when it's scripted, they'll give it to you in advance, they'll let you know your character, they'll give you a rundown of what's going on. Let's kind of switch gears here. We are here at the uh, convention and all the fans are excited to see their dream girls of sorts, such as you. But sometimes I see fans get a little out of hand. Do you ever have any crazy fan encounters, whether it be these conventions or even out in public, if people notice you out there? Actually, so far so good. I did have one guy, um, I was walking out of the convention right. and he was standing there with a video camera and I went by and he dropped his video camera and he ran over to me. He's like, I've got to see the fucking pink rabbit tattoo on your back. And I was like, okay. And he was like, I love it. And he just like ran back to his camera like on the floor. It's not too bad. Compared to like a lot of soccer guys. Let's stick into the subject of fans. Tell something about yourself that not even your number one fan would know about you. That I have someone's name tattooed on my neck. On your neck? On my neck. People don't ever see the tattoo on my neck. You can't see it. Oh, why not? Okay, you can see it, but they can't. Okay. I love Josh. <laughs> don't what say. happened? <laughs> I was an idiot and got someone's name when I was young. Don't do that. Oh, and that that's insignificant now? It's not... Unfortunately, yeah. Don't, they have lasers to remove that, you know? Yeah, but it hurts. It's worse than a tattoo. I was thinking about just doing like a rectangle and then just filling it in. How long have you been in the industry so far? I've been in the industry for about three years. I've been doing girl-girl videos for about a year and a half. Are you doing the boy-girl scenes these days? Nope. No? What's that all about? I just don't want to right now. <laughs> All right, let's bring it back three years. What was the deciding factor that made you say, hey, I want to do some porn? A friend of mine showed me a website, and I submitted new pictures when I was 17, and I liked the responses wow. that I got back. Uh, someone found out my age, so they took me off the website, and when I turned 18, I'm like, I'm going right back into it. So I knew I would end up doing videos. I just didn't know how to get involved, so I met people and it just kind of happened. Excellent. I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Me too. Well, speaking of websites, there's this one website that took the internet by storm. Uh, have you heard of it? TwoGirlsOneCup.com. No. No? Alright, then that's oh just... Oh my god! So where they shit and there's ice cream? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I watched you, the... you watched it? No, well yeah, but the way I found out about it was on uh, YouTube.com. It was like, watch this guy's reaction. So he was watching the video and then you see his reaction. I'm like, I gotta see this shit. So I go and I'm like, that's not real shit. That's ice really? cream. Yeah. They, but they it get, was in her ass though. It came, they, but it's clean. It's clean. You watch clean girls shit. get fucked in the ass and then suck the dick. All it was was frozen yogurt, shot up there, hold it in, and then... You think so? So you I weren't disgusted? So. I know so because I had a friend that's done it. Really? I'm not naming names. So would we ever see you in a scene like that? No, but anal, yes. yes. But you're not even in boy, in boy girl scenes yet. No, but I do. Could we look forward to that anytime soon? I can't tell you. I don't know. 
or perhaps that fellow on the back of your neck. His name is not. I know. <laughs> Maybe Baba Bonus. Last 10 seconds. I want you to tell our audience why they should be checking out your work. Why? Why you above all these other ladies around here? Well, you should check me out because I have a pink rabbit tattooed on my shoulder. I love classic cars, and I'm from Texas. You love classic cars? Yeah, I have one. Also oh, hot. There you go. All right. I, I have wood because of that. <laughs> I forgot. No boy girl scenes. Sorry. All right. Well, there you have it. Another excellent interview here. And uh, stay tuned for more interviews. Hey, guys. I'm Jana Jordan, adult film star, and I am JRA's one eyed snake charmer.